Newly released federal nutrition guidelines urge us to limit our intake of added sugar to no more than 10% of daily calories. The term added sugars does not apply to what's naturally found in fruit. It refers to sweeteners added to products like drinks, soups, and sauces. We eat too much sugar. Most nutrition counselors, like Eve Plews at Full Spectrum Health, agree people consume far too much sugar, which is linked to an increased risk for heart disease and type 2 diabetes. What's true is the average American is eating somewhere in the neighborhood of three pounds of sugar a week. So if you're not eating three pounds of sugar and I'm not eating three pounds of sugar, somebody out there is eating a pound a day. And based on the obesity rates and based on the diabetes rates, we know that that's true. The guidelines suggest increasing the amount of fruit, vegetables, and whole grains in our diet and cutting back on salt and saturated fat, both linked to heart disease. Eating less food may not solve the problem if it's poor quality foods. What we actually want to do is eat more vegetables, not less. She says guidelines that suggest cutting back on salt and saturated fats are nothing new. As far as saturated fat is concerned, that advice has been out there for a long time. That the saturated fat that fundamentally comes to us from the animal kingdom is in excess in the diet. But a lot of that is coming from the really poor quality fats that are deep fried. They may be delicious, but they're really lousy for our cell walls and our brains. Reporting in Sarasota, Kelly Rittenauer, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.